right now i will explain first of all facilitated diffusion right what is the mechanism of facilitated diffusion let's suppose this is a cell and it want to take up the glucose as i told you that glucose cannot pass through the membrane is that right now we need some transport mechanism so what really happens in the cells of course you know there, there are nucleus and in the nucleus there are genes dna and some genes they express and make messenger rna and when that messenger rna is translated into proteins those proteins will go into <coughs> and get planted into membrane and those proteins are like this this is a special type of protein and you know how many now this special type of protein which is being expressed right on the membrane this is transmembrane protein because it is through and through is that right now this protein is very interesting what really happens that outside it has its open mouth and from this mouth it will capture glucose when this protein is expressed right all the time it is like it's just like your mouth you know when you don't have food you keep your mouth open but as soon as you get in you close it is that right so until there is no glucose here this mouth remain open as soon as glucose gets stuck here and here what will happen they will close this side and open from other side and they will open their mouth from this side and glucose will shift now inside so what is happening that this is a protein which is this is a transmembrane protein which is through and through the membrane and this protein has a capability to alter its shape when it is not loaded with glucose look at it this protein is like this now it is not loaded with glucose as soon as glucose sit here it open like that is that right now this is the basic way how these glucose transporters work is that right so the such type of proteins are called glucose transporters and we call it glucose transporters or from glucose and t for transporters we simply call it glut g l u t glut these glucose transporters there are up to now they have discovered about 14 different type of glucose transporters there are many types of glucose transporters which are expressed in different tissues for different functions is that right but first of all you must know the glucose transporters are proteins once they are expressed on the cell membrane they bind the extracellular glucose and they shift the glucose to intracellular environment and if glucose bind from inside they will shift it to outside also is that right now these glucose transporters i told you there are many types of glucose transporters about 14 different types of glucose transporters is that right now different types of glucose transporters work in a different way but a very important point which you must know about these glucose transporters <coughs> is that these glucose transporters are acting as simple do you think they are these glucose transporters are using energy to transfer the glucose they are not using energy they are not using any energy right what they are doing they are making the membrane permeable to glucose when membrane has more glucose transporters membrane become more permeable to glucose when membrane has less glucose transporter membrane is less permeable to glucose so glucose transporters presence only determines the permeability of the membrane to glucose is that right but how much glucose will pass through this area it depends on the concentration difference of glucose if glucose concentration outside is very high then more glucose will be going in 
if glucose concentration is very low, less glucose will be going in. So it means that basically glucose is moving from high concentration to low concentration. When any sub molecule is moving from high concentration to low concentration, we call it diffusion. What we call it? Process is called diffusion. So basically glucose is diffusing from high extracellular concentration to low intracellular concentration. But this diffusion is not simple diffusion. But this diffusion of glucose is not simple diffusion because if transporters are not there, this diffusion will not occur. So this glucose diffusion is facilitated by the presence of glucose transporters. Is that right? So this type of transport of glucose is called facilitated diffusion. Why we call it facilitated diffusion? First we should know why we call it diffusion because glucose is moving from high concentration to low concentration. So it is diffusion. But because this diffusion cannot occur simply through the cell membrane, so it is not simple diffusion. This diffusion has to be facilitated by the presence of glucose transporters. Am I clear?